I want to show you how to make a really cheap and quick Mox and Vice using this Pony Jorgensen veneer press screw. So here's our standard Mox and Vice, uh, just by comparison. This kit sells very well. This is a really nice vise to have to hook to the edge of your bench if you don't have a bench vise, or if you just want to work on really wide parts, or if you want to raise your work up so that you don't, you're not hunching over your bench so much. And the kit really consists of two threaded rods that are embedded into the back jaw of the of the vise, and there's a, actually a nut on the outside here, and then the inside nut is inset into the back jaw, which is a little bit of tricky for some folks. Um, so then the rods are fixed in the back jaw, so when you shut it, the rods actually stick out the front, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes because I think it's easy to run into them, and I've run into these many times. Another feature of the, of the vise is that it only opens up three inches. You get about three inches of reach here, which can be a limitation for some. And also the kit costs about 50 bucks. This kit probably took me about an hour and a half to build. That's from rough lumber all the way to finished vise. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this Pony Jorgensen veneer press screw. It comes in three parts. It's got this little foot here. You just toss that away, you don't need that. It has this threaded coupling that has inside threads. And then this, this threaded rod, this 12 inch threaded rod, rides through this threaded coupling. And then it's got this T-handle that you can spin very quickly. So this is, the, this is the guts of the system. So all you need to do is you need to embed this threaded coupling in the back jaw, and then your work is done, basically. So that can be a little tricky. So then you can actually, see all you have to do then is screw this thread coupling in the back jaw, drill a hole. What makes this a little bit challenging is that this threaded coupling is actually one inch in diameter, made just slightly bigger, so a one inch hole won't work. I had to drill one and one sixteenth inch hole with the Forstner bit. It's got these two little fins on the side though that you cannot pound this in a one and one sixteenth inch hole. So you actually have to drill a hole that compensates for that. So this is what I did. I marked where my my holes go, and then I took a compass and I drew a one and one sixteenth inch circle. I bisected that circle, and then at the two intersection point and then at the two intersection points, I made a mark with an awl. Then I went to the drill press, and at those two intersection points, I drilled a one quarter inch diameter hole. And then I went back and I drilled out the waist with a one and one sixteenth inch Forstner bit. Now this coupling slips right in that hole perfectly. And actually, it's nice because it doesn't spin at all. So that's how I got around um, getting that coupling in the back jaw. So once you set the coupling in the back jaw, then all you need to do is drill a hole in the front jaw. And I drilled an 11 sixteenths inch hole in the front jaw. This vise was done basically. So a couple points on layout. I leave three inches on each end for the tab, I call it, to attach, to drill a hole so I can attach uh, my clamps. And then I make the jaw, the distance between those tabs. And then I come in two inches fr from each end of the jaw to drill my holes. That's a pretty nice setup. It's pretty simple to remember. And then I actually, I actually went through and put a couple holes in the top um, to accept bench dogs. And I put a little bevel here so when I'm sawing like half blind dovetails, my saw won't hit the corner of my vise. So this whole thing from rough lumber to finish took me about 45 minutes. Um, so it's a very quick build. A couple of features I think are really important to note is that now that the coupling is in the back jaw and the threads are there, when I tighten my jaw down, there's nothing sticking out the front. There's nothing for me to run into. So that is a really nice feature. Um, the next thing is when I open this up wide, as wide as it goes, I could get nine inches of reach on this vise. For this one, I got three inches, so three times the reach. Um, it's very fast to build. The kit costs around, for two of these, you can get them for mid $30 range, so the price is fantastic. So there you have it. A really simple, quick Mox and Vice using the Pony Jorgensen veneer press screws available at taytools.com.